All right, so this is the big C. You can see the number here. They call it an AXF 6900XTX, whatever the fuck that number is really supposed to mean. <clears throat> it doesn't state that this GPU block specifically fits DFX X FX Speedster Merc 319 Black Edition 6900 or 6800 XT. Although there was a listing uh, for this GPU block fitting this card on Amazon. And of course I took the plunge because I really wanted to liquid cool this card. And it was so hard getting a 6900 XT that <clears throat> I took the first one I could get. Didn't even care about the fucking price at this point. Uh, waiting two years, you know, to hopefully get one at MSRP. I mean, I'm just, I'm not going to camp out at fucking Best Buy. Screw that. For anybody else who wants to do that, go for it. But, um, so anyways, uh, it, it's, it's works perfect. Um, it really is made. I mean, even the back plate, all the screws go in. Everything fits well. Uh, the back plate works. Um, everything is covered. Your VRMs. Um, there's like a secondary VRM over here. I don't know if one is for the memory system and then the other one is for the GPU itself. Um, I'm not super familiar with AMD GPUs uh, in terms of all the little funky things that they do. I've always kind of been an NVIDIA guy, but I mean, I don't know. I'm getting pretty sick of NVIDIA, to be honest. <clears throat> And this fucking card's amazing. So, I mean, I was running it stock in the, you know, the stock cooler setup. Um, just so you can see. I mean, this is this is one badass cooler they put on it. It's very heavy. Very solid. Very well made. This is the fan setup. Um, now, supposedly, this one in the middle is supposed to blow out. Uh, that way, you get like a cross flow like you don't get so much turbulence against you know the the fan the the air coming through the fan you don't get so much turbulence i guess i don't even know i've never even tested to see if it see if it worked that way or not but it was fairly easy to take apart you really kind of do have to pay attention some of the stuff on here on this card does not have to be taken off like these little screws and shit you don't have to undo those uh, those just hold the plastic pieces on. I don't give a shit about this Radeon insignia. I could fucking care less. Um, but yeah, so this is this is the Bixky block. Uh, I've had a few of them. I never put any on my high-end cards. I've put some on like some 1060s and 2060s and stupid shit like that for people. Just because usually they're cheaper. This block wasn't cheap. It was fucking 200 bucks. So uh, be ready to be ready to wait. And be ready to pay. Uh, it's about what a freaking EK block goes for. Um, but I mean, that, you know, this this doesn't have. This is all you need. This area right here to cool everything that's there. Now, on the back plate, though, you will notice there are these. You're going to want a heat gun if you're taking this card apart. Please listen, okay? Because the back plate of this card is is right here and it, you can see the spaces where all of these different things were all the different thermal pads um these were regular thermal pads here and these are different right and then there's two little odd ones right there right there um for other chips now the big C plate is metal so yes it'll conduct heat it's a nice thick piece of metal too it's not cheap so that's a plus but you'll see right here inside there behind the back plate those pieces make sure you put those where they belong and what i did is i put them on the units themselves after i put the top piece of the, the block on you know the top, the block itself i guess i flipped it over and you got to be real careful because you could you know you're, you're not going to have everything tightened down I mean, it should be fine because there are some things you have to tighten down before you put the back plate on to hold this down. But these screws here are what really snug everything else up the rest of the way. You want to make sure that you have this thing with those pads positioned on the items they are supposed to cool. Do not, 
do this half-assed and, and just try to guess where they go because you're gonna have a problem. So if you do in the right order, it's super easy. It really, this really wasn't a hard, hard card to liquid cool at all. Um, and I've done quite a few of them, 2080 Ti's, 1080 Ti's. Uh, some of the newer 3000 series cards I, I've liquid cooled. They're kind of a pain in the ass to take apart, but I mean, that's just NVIDIA. NVIDIA always makes things a fucking pain in the ass. Uh, usually I get, I don't buy um, <clears throat> reference stuff. Now this is not a reference PCB, even though it's set up just like one. It's a custom PCB, but it's pretty much the exact same thing as a reference. So you can see, you know, yes, this piece goes up over those. There is space though. Um, it looks like there's no space, there's space. Uh, and the, the, the releases are on the back anyway, so that really doesn't even fucking matter. I'm sure it'll be fun still getting them on there. I'll tell you what, putting this card, even in this huge case that I have, uh, it was still a pain in the ass to try to fit this card in there. I did have it vertically. Um, it really made it a bitch. Of course, a lot of that is because of stuff I have in here. Uh, it's going to change some things around, but you know what? I, I spend too much time on these fuckers to begin with, so I'm just not doing it. But um, this right here, it works. It fits. I will put a link in the description. Um, you, it, It's basically just... I don't even know if this is specific to this card. Because I could not find a listing on Bixby's website that shows this block as being specific to this GPU. Um, 